guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So I'm finally getting around to filming a video that I've wanted to uh, make for a long time and that is my thoughts on Ty's death after watching season 14 of Heartland. Now, before I go any further in this video, I want to make it very clear that this is just my own personal opinion. If you guys disagree, that is completely fine. You are entitled to your own opinion. I just wanted to make this video talking to you guys about my personal opinion after watching season 14. But if you disagree, that's fine. Uh, this is just my own personal opinion. I respect yours. Please respect mine in return. And also, with this particular video, I'm very interested to know your guys' opinion after watching season 14 of Heartland. Has has your opinion changed on Ty's death? Are you still as upset as you were when you watched episode one? Um, will you continue watching Heartland even after uh, Ty's death and Graham's departure? Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I love reading your guys' op uh, comments and just opinions and feedback, so definitely leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. But anyway, that's enough uh, intro. Let's get into the video. So obviously, uh, Heartland Season 14, Episode 1, everyone was super excited that Heartland was back for a Season 14, and... Um, I remember when I first uh, started making videos about season 14, I was like, you know, Amy and Ty, what, what's going to be their story? And then, uh, you know, what's going to happen to their characters in season 14? Because Amy and Ty, to a lot of people, are the main characters of Heartland. Now, I think it is important to remember as well that Amy and Ty are not my favorite characters. Their relationship is not extremely important to me. Um, their relationship is not a relationship that I, like, overly cared about. Yes, it was important to the show, I acknowledge that, but uh, their relationship was not the reason I watch Heartland. But I'm aware that for a lot of Heartland fans, Amy and Ty's relationship was at the center of the show, and I acknowledge that. Just know that that is not my own personal thoughts on their relationship. I'm not saying it's not a big deal to the story. It definitely was over the past 14 years, but uh, so my opinions are going to be different because of the fact that their relationship wasn't as important to me as probably most Heartland fans. So that is important to keep in mind as I continue this video as well. So obviously uh, having this channel and talking to you guys about Heartland for the past couple of years, I have become extremely aware of Amy and Ty's importance to the, uh, mo to the average Heartland fan. A lot of you guys love Amy and Ty, and I was aware of that. So going into season 14, um, though I didn't probably make a lot of videos on it, I always was wondering in the back of my head, you know, what is Amy and Ty's story going to be in season 14? Are they going to have another child? But then all of these rumors started coming out about Graham being absent on the set of Heartway on season 14, and I was like... Oh no. I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I first saw these rumors and uh, speculation and stuff that was sent to you, sent to me, sorry, by some of you guys on Instagram, and you guys started spamming me and was like, Hannah, is this real? Is this real? Is this real? Is this real? Keep in mind, I don't work for Heartland, so I can't answer questions like these and give you guys confirmed information because I don't work for the show. But, um... When I saw these rumors and speculation, I was like, oh no, because I was aware of how important Amy and Ty's story was to the overall story of Heartland, and I was like, this, this, is, this is bad, because Amy and Ty are the main characters to a lot of people. So I was like, mm, guys, first of all, uh, these rumors at the time were only rumors. Um, everyone calm down. I literally remember making videos talking about, you know, these are just rumors. It's just, uh, it's just rumors, like nine times out of 10, these, this is fake information. Uh, but then I made videos talking about, you know, what would happen if Ty died in season 14 and 
you guys hated me. Um, and people unsubscribed, and those are, I think I could be wrong, but I think they are my most disliked videos. Could be wrong about that. But um, they definitely are the videos that I got the most uh, hate for because everyone was like, Hannah, uh, it's Amy and Ty. There's no way they're going to kill off Ty, and there's no way any Heartland cast are going to want to leave the show. Well, here we are. So, when I started, you know, posting behind the scenes, uh, you know, videos of uh, the set of Heartland Season 14, and I noticed, I was like, Graham is not here at all. Carrie James is more present at the Heartland set than Graham Wardle. We're going to see more of Caleb in this season than we see of Ty. There is something going on here. And then uh, when Graham posted that one or two Instagram stories about being back on the set of Heartland season 14, I was like, okay, so maybe he's just going to be in less episodes because we have seen that uh, throughout the past couple of seasons that Graham has had less screen time. And I was like, you know what, maybe they're just going to have him go away and be... Uh, in Mo Mongolia again, and maybe we're just, as an audience, not going to be able to see that. But then, he never posted any more Instagram stories about being back on the set of Heartland uh, after posting those first two photos or video clips. And I was like, oh great. So, he's most likely dead. Now, f uh, flash forward to watching episode one of Heartland season 14. Everyone was super, super excited about season 14 of Heartland because, you know, we're in a very stressful time in the world right now and everyone wanted a little bit of happiness and joy, but within the first two minutes of episode one, it was like, yay, Heartland's back. Oh no, Ty's dead now. Cry for the rest of the season. That's basically what happened. Now, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys and say that when I watched episode one, um, Ty's death was very difficult for me to watch. Um, not because I, you know, loved his character, or not because I was a huge fan of Amy and Ty, which I've made clear that I am not, but because I love this show, and I know that Ty's death is going to change the show. It has changed the show. Um, so watching that scene of Ty's death, I was like, oh no, oh no, and then, you know, he died, and I was like, well, that changed Heartland. However, my original uh, feelings about Ty's death have not changed. I do acknowledge that Heartland is different without Ty. I understand that. I'm not saying that it's the same. I'm not saying it will ever be the same. Heartland will not be the same without Ty. But uh, just like the producers said in their interviews about uh, Graham's departure and about Ty's death uh, earlier this year, if you guys have not seen that, I definitely recommend go and going and watching the interviews. But uh, they wanted to honor Ty's character and also Graham for his dedication to the show for the past 14 years. So instead of having Ty become an absentee father and go down the path of like divorce or separation, one, they already did that with Lou and Peter, and two, it would it would be disrespectful in all honesty to Amy and Ty and to uh, Amber and Graham, in my opinion, uh, for their for their excellent performance as Amy and Ty for the past 14 years. So even though I know Ty's death has changed Heartland. It has. Um, I, I'm still okay that it happened. Um, now, I'm not the kind of person that uh, will stop watching Heartland or any TV show because a main character uh, dies. Because when a main character dies, and I said this uh, in all the videos leading up to season 14 when it was becoming more and more obvious to, I would hope, more people that Graham was not going to be in this season and he most, uh, Ty most likely uh, died, 
I was like, guys, this just allows for new storylines. This just allows for a new chapter of Heartland. This allows for more character development for Amy. This allows for new storylines, which allows for the show to continue and develop and change. And a character's death in any long-running TV show, especially when the character's been there since episode one of season one, it's always going to change the show, okay? Heartland isn't the same without Ty, without Graham. It's not going to be the same, and I don't want it to be the same, because when a character dies or an actor leaves the show, it's heartbreaking, okay? It is, and I acknowledge that, but I am super, super excited for this new chapter of Heartland and, you know, Amy's story and what's going to happen with her and Amy's uh, journey of being a single mom. Is there going to be another love interest for Amy introduced down the road? Who knows? I would say yes, but I don't want to say yes because people will yell at me for that. But most likely, that is a storyline that is now available to them because of Ty's death and Grand Mortal's departure. What's next for Amy? What's next for Lou? What's next for Georgie and Quinn? All of these questions that I just asked are questions that can be answered in future seasons of Heartland. And that's why I'm super, super excited for the future of Heartland. And even though I'm sad that Graham left, um, and I'm sad that, you know, Ty is gone, uh, because it does change the show. And again, I'm not, I wasn't overly attached to Amy and Ty, or even Ty's character for that matter, but I am very much emotionally attached to this show and everything about this show, the storylines, the characters. So any change in this show is going to be hard for me, not because of, you know, the characters involved with the change, not because it was Ty that died, but just because change in the show is changing the show, which is going to be hard for anybody. And I can only imagine what it's like for people that actually, um, you know, care about Amy and Ty's relationship. For me, uh, again, not a big deal that it was Ty, but it is a big deal because a character left, an actor left, and that in turn changed the show. So I still stand by what I originally said. Um, one, I'm not surprised that, uh, I wasn't surprised in episode one when Ty died. It was very obvious to me looking at promotional photos and behind the scenes videos that Graham was basically not at the Heartland set at all. And, um, even though I'm sad that he died and it did change the show, I'm very excited for the future storylines. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with Amy's character. And also, Amber Marshall deserves an award for her performance as Amy this season. If you disagree, just just don't. Please don't disagree because that, that woman deserves an, an award for this season because her acting was absolutely phenomenal and had no bad episodes okay like seriously anyway that is all i have for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later good bye